knows if they'll be back. And as we said earlier, one of the most unique and dynamic players this game has ever seen. The 41-year-old Spurs guard announced his retirement yesterday after 16 years in the league. What will you remember most about Manu? Manu always rose to the challenge. He was never scared. Uh, he never ran from assignments. Uh, he was obviously a former sixth man of the year. Manu put blinders on and would put everything on his shoulders and go through anybody and anything to try to win a basketball game. He might be in that six to 10 range of the all-time greatest shooting guards that this league has ever seen. And that's saying something for a guy who accepted a role coming off the bench. And the most beloved player on those first teams, according to all these people in San Antonio. Manu's a special player. Yeah, his energy is, is uh, much, much higher in terms of the style of He play. is a significant part, I'd say, of this era of NBA history because he was really like the number two guy on one of the most consistent 20-year runs we've ever seen in the NBA. Seventh selection in the 1999 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs selection. And I tried to prepare a script or something, a speech, and I started thinking, what am I doing here? What am I doing in front of you guys, in front of all of you guys? This was not supposed to happen to me. remember Manu? One of the great, great competitors this game has ever seen. There's never been anything in the NBA quite like Manu Ginobili. He was willing to take big shots and he could make big shots. One of the greatest sixth men ever, but he was saying, you know something, I'm going to do what's best for the team. You cannot tell the story of basketball without talking about Ginobili. We know he's a champion. Yeah. How about him being clutch? How about him being tough? Manu. Manu Ginobili. Manu Ginobili. Ginobili. Manu Ginobili! look at me like Tony what the play I'm like hey, nobody can control Manu Manu is gonna be Manu there's no controlling Manu pop there's no controlling Manu so pop figure it out we'll let Manu be Manu and he just had a unbelievable year after unbelievable year but my favorite my favorite year Manu was 2005 Underway in the playoffs for the first time. And here come the Spurs trying to push it up. That's why Ginobili's in there. And he'll go in with the basket. So Parker and Ginobili each the field goes to start the Spurs. Ginobili makes a circus play as he goes right past Danny Fortson who's coming to the game. Oh. Daniels fighting through. Loses Ginobili who lays it in. You lose Ginobili, you get burned. Manu with 19 points. Uh, right here again, making the pass. Finding uh, Muhammad again. Tonight, continues to do so, and the basket counts in a chance for another free throw play. 
Ana Ginobili with 39 points and six assists, doing everything tonight. Ginobili quickly gets inside. Not a bad way to start. But as you know, Ginobili is just second to Stoudemire in free throws in these postseason. to take his first this afternoon. Two seconds remaining. Ginobili. That'll count if it goes. Oh, Ginobili backs it at half court. Mano Ginobili with 21-1. And here we go from San Antonio. Ginobili is going to block that. Ginobili with the first clock. Works his magic through the lane. And with one hand for the dunk. 21 for Ginobili. 10 in the fourth. to the hoop, and this time gets the bound. Ginobili drives, gets the drop, and gets the foul. Ginobili comes to the ball. That was so clever. Puts it on the floor, lays it off to Ginobili. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. So I, I had to learn to stop going to say, Manu, Jeez, oh whiz, what? Do we need that? What do you, why? Well, I am Manu, this is what I do. <laughs> That's what he would tell me over and over. And then I'd look over at Tim or Tony and they would just shrug their shoulders and we'd all just move on, move on. But uh, they're, the way the team was set up, we all needed each other, and without Manu, there were no championships. Ginobili is back to being classic Ginobili. I watch Manu Ginobili. Yeah. He looks great right now. He lost 10 or 15 pounds, right. and he lost about five years off his NBA life, which was a great thing to, to see. And the truth is, after one month, I knew that these Spurs were better than last year's Spurs. Ginobili gets a head start into the lane. Count it and one. Ginobili hits a three-pointer. Ginobili steps back, tries a three. Mono Ginobili, 14 points off the bench. Out to Ginobili. Puts it in. What an avalanche from San Antonio. A 21-point lead. Ginobili on the finish. Watches it with the left hand. San Antonio is back on top once again. The Spurs are the 2014 NBA champions. Championship moments in the in the biggest spots. Some guys bully their way into our consciousness. Manu floated in. That's the thing about Manu I probably respect the most. And there's the buzzer. The San Antonio Spurs are NBA champions once again. Their fourth title in nine years. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this, this one story real quick and, and I'll get off of here and the real reason we're here is you. But I got that call from Pop. Uh, every year I watch the draft. I sit at home, I tell everybody all day long, I'm not watching the draft, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. Um, I, I sit at home, I watch the draft and we pick people that I've never heard of. <laughs> yeah, sitting there, uh, Emmanuel Ginobili. <laughs> Who did we just pick? I was like, oh yeah, he's, he's gonna be great, he's this, he's, oh, okay, Pop, whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Shot clock at five, the scoop of the score! Up the green for the lead. The Buffalo Griffin, the ball jump free. 
Miles a good time it up and they call the jump ball. 9.3. Great defensive Robert effort there. Defense. By Mills. By Mills. Mills and Gordon have picked up, and that was a good call because the position helps Anderson. Here's Harden. Ginobili's on him. Ginobili for the lead. Oh, 